Hi, I'm Josh, and this is Cars and Joshy. Welcome to part two of the fuel system setup on the LS swap for my 1983 El Camino Resto mod. I'm going to be jumping into the fuel tank and the fuel lines on this episode. Alright, this is the Dorman 22 gallon tank picked up from Rock Auto. And I've heard reviews and I've read reviews of like the Spectre fuel tanks and issues with filling at a slow pace having to use your original filler neck and uh, replace the filler neck on the Spectre tanks and, and all that. I haven't really seen anything on on the Dorman tanks or anything like that so figured I'd give it a try. look it's what the doorman looks like just like any other tank I guess I don't think you can see it here but let me grab a flashlight you can see the baffle in there and so you know it's fuel injected tank well a tank for fuel injected vehicles Let's see if I can get this to fit down in there get in there and never get this thing out so I'm not gonna sh force it in there all the way yet till I get my longer hose which I might do this afternoon. I picked up some fuel line to replace that line that I have on my sending unit. Put that there. And I'll probably run it like that. Cut it there and just put a clamp on it. if we can make that fit in the tank.
I know there's no fuel in it, never has been, but I'm just using a brass punch and a brass hammer because that's what I'm used to using when messing with fuel, fuel tanks. So. interesting <laughs> so that tab that I was hitting decided to bend instead of hit flush like that so that's cool if I ever have to get it off again I'm gonna have to pry it with a screwdriver or something to get that tab straight again or just use that one and hopefully it holds up to me beating on it. But it's in there now, so uh, I'm just going to add a vent line to this and start adding my, my lines to it before I go put it over there near the uh, those straps up under the truck. Quarter inch hose for this. tank strap from G body parts or tank strap insulator to rip that the velcro I grabbed the stapler and tried to staple it I don't think that's gonna hold but once it gets bolted up to the frame it's not really gonna matter much and I'm like super impatient so me ordering another one from G Body Parts probably isn't going to happen. But then again it might because this is garbage here. Yeah. That sucks. Go buy a bigger staple gun maybe. They have one of those big staples on there. Doesn't really help if the rubber is crap. Velka's crap. That one seems to be doing just fine. I don't know what's up with this side, but we'll take a picture, send it to G Body Parts, see if they'll send me another strap. try and get these straps put up here. Helps if you put the bolt through the eye.
this on here. So, I'm not really sure what went there, but I think it might have been a clamp or something for the fuel line, possibly. Or exhaust hanger or something. I'm going to try and get the tank in here. And then I'm going to see if G-Body Parts will send me another strap insulator. So I'm kind of stuck right now. I'm not going to I'm not going to throw it up there with these straps on that I'm just going to have to take back down. I only want to do it once. So and I'll catch you guys next time on Cars and Joshy. Thanks for watching. Josh out.